What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Loves This Reacts. I'm Tamaj, and I'm going to be reacting to the Fear the Walking Dead Comic Con, the special behind the scenes and uh, clips and stuff they're showing. I don't know if there's going to be a trailer yet. I'm still watching it, but they're showing a clip right now, so I'm going to react to it. So they did go in the sub with the baby and Rufus. I mean, I didn't know where else they were gonna go. They should have been in the goddamn sub. Nobody gonna comfort this baby? Yeah, the father life, Morgan. Remember that? Not so fun, huh? Late nights, early mornings. Good. Rufus, you did a horrible job. It's all right. How long have they been living here? It's wrong. It's the same as last time. I wish you some. Now, I'm no expert, but Br Grace technically had her baby is she still able to like breastfeed i'm not exactly sure how that works i mean i know her baby passed but isn't her body like prepared but that baby is a little a couple months now so i don't know if it i don't know i ain't got no kids so well she is well equipped this was her job so i guess it's natural she'd go out into the apocalyptic world be safe grace Man, and we gotta do this every time we wanna get something to eat, look for supplies, god damn. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a whole new show. Jesus. You can't even see five feet in front of you. And really, we can't even kill walkers because like, we'd have to get rid of our weapon. We can't take that back in. So it's like... Ah! Dang it, I wanted more! I just wanna watch the whole episode. I just cannot imagine being stuck in a hole for an unknown amount of time. Like, I'm just here indefinitely until I run out of food or something. Oh shit! Looks like I just ran out of food. Shit. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not okay. We just lost food! He has a secret layer in his secret layer? Teddy was in some weird shit, so of course he has another fucking secret room in his secret room. Don't tell me he has somebody locked in there. Is that an operating table? What the hell was he operating on? Ooh. Y'all better keep your eyes uh, peeled because somebody or something could be in this room. John, I don't know. What is this place? A torture chamber. Teddy, this is where he killed all those women. Mm. Bombing for started. So he's had this we for. A long Where did that find it? it? was under our feet the whole time. He's gone. John. He can't do this to anyone ever again. So let's just seal this room up. Pretend it doesn't exist. Get anything useful out of it, though. For survival purposes, of course. It's not too late. It's never too late. What does that mean?
So yeah, Fear, I'm really excited for this season. I didn't know if they were going to do a trailer or not. They just did two clips, um, which were good. I like the setting they're going for um, with the apocalyptic theme and the dust, you know, um, and like the bright, you know, tan, like apocalyptic nuclear explosion look. It's kind of cool. I never really like watched a lot of stuff with like nuclear, you know, explosions and like end of the world, like nuclear worlds like i've never seen stuff like that like i haven't like i know there's stuff that exists like mad max or like it was like a video game called fallout i never really that wasn't my thing or like the 100 i seen like a couple episodes of that like those weren't really my thing so i'm kind of kind of excited to like explore it here um but yeah uh they only showed four characters they did bring up a good point in comic-con like window like if they do want to bring that character back, how do we do it? Because Mo just kind of, Mo, Sarah just got on the um, helicopter. So she's going to be far away from him. So, and he's off in a way different area. And then now they didn't do the time jump like I predicted. So like travel between these groups are going to be limited. Um, well, probably not for the CRM crew because they're probably going to go out of the area. Strand already seems to be out of the blast zone. I imagine he's going to move a little further if he's smart. Grace and Morgan are stuck right in it, as well as June and Dory. So I figured if anybody's going to find each other, it's going to be them. Dwight, too, and Sherry. Um, but they don't have, not that I know of anyway, They only Grace seems to have had um, gear, which makes sense because it was a nuclear submarine, so they have equipment there for accidents um, and stuff like that. But um, And the handling of nuclear um equipment and weapons but sherry and dwight and uh john and june don't have that so they're like truly trapped so i don't know if like grace and morgan are like gonna try to take equipment to them and like try to get them out of there like i don't know because they're gonna be running out of food the baby i mean baby food is gonna be like very scarce but then you know like everything's contaminated with nuclear energy so like is it even safe to gather supplies like can we even eat that stuff at this point like isn't everything at this point radioactive like that stuff i don't really know i i mean i feel like it would be so like because in season five grace was like decontaminated they wouldn't let them use their weapons or anything that they used to kill the nuclear walkers like how are they gonna get food if it's contaminated like i don't know it's really gonna be interesting. Uh, that's why I said I'm excited because I've never seen too many nuclear storylines. Um, but yeah, really excited for Fear. I'm sure there'll be a trailer, you know, like a month or two down the line. Um, it's coming back October 17th. So really looking forward to it. Of course, you'll see my reactions to that. Um, yeah, so we'll catch you for Fear the Walking Dead. I am now reacting to the World Beyond sneak peek for season two. Let's check that out. <laughs> Okay, so we're starting crazy right off the bat. All right. Look at that face. Oh, that's a CRM soldier. Was they ambushed? That's what they deserve, I mean. All right. Surprised they got taken out, though. A oh, Will. Okay, good shit, Will. Don't fuck with him. Oh, fuck. Is that the one dude? Okay, so that's how we run for a few days to remember how we got to the helicopters. They were looking for you. They were dropping off shipping containers. Right, which we see in the first episode. The camp's colony, Omaha. Generators, computers. Some of it was covered in blood. All of it was loaded up into trucks and driven off. Wait, wait, wait. Blood? I heard them call it a salvage mission. Said something about shipping messed up by a giant column that ran through. A few days later, they found me. Took me in. I joined a hunting party to help out whenever they to you. Wait, you're saying that Omaha, that MDs just ran through? I don't know who else to take it. How? How can it just be gone? Wait, where my dad? Is, is he There's okay? There's no reason to believe he's not okay. Same with Hope. I kicked a hornet's nest. 
Asked too many questions. Must have made me your model target. Is there on there the whole time? Why would they lie? I don't know. All I know is they want me dead. And I will be if they find me. Damn. There is so much to dissect there. Like, wow. Um, wow. Well, now they know their colony is gone. Um, Will, but Will was asking the important questions. I mean, we we don't know anything about this group, so somebody got to ask these questions, but they don't like you asking questions, so they try to kill you. But it goes, I'm actually really excited for the, his character because, like, if he was able to take out some CRM soldiers, like, how, what else can he do? I mean, you know, they did, like, hash at you in season one that Will could take care of himself. Will got this. You know, Will's really well-equipped, and Will handled his shit. Um, so maybe, I mean, we're going to have to have him take us back there because we don't know the exact location of their, where they had them held. So Will's going to have to lead us there. Though I know he's not going to want to lead them headfirst into danger. Uh, it's gonna make for an interesting season. I, I'm I'm excited for season two. I really am. But yeah, I'm really excited to see where they take these characters um, in season two of World Beyond. They already confirmed ain't no more Rick in season two. Ain't no Rick, nothing. It might be like a little subtle hints that we have to catch, but they ain't showing nothing. Um, they only showed that one clip, so. I don't know. I'm interested to see the revelations when all the all the information comes together with all the characters. I mean, they're not the most combative characters, not all of them. So I'm not expecting anything crazy. But like, I hope's on the inside. She can do some damage, you know. Will, I'm sure, like I said, is going to help them get in to this community somehow because they're going to want to rescue Hope at some point and their dad, their girl's dad. Elton still has to catch up, but Percy's the main character now, so I'm excited to see that character develop too some more. Um, Silas is on the inside now. Who knows what he'll be doing. I feel like they said we're going to focus on three different worlds, right? So, I, obviously where Hope and her dad are, maybe where Silas is, because I feel like if he's going to be a prisoner, he's going to get much different treatment. Like I feel like he's going to be where Rick is. We will probably, like I said, we won't see Rick, but I will get a feel for, like, maybe some of the things he's gone through. Um, and like I said, they could give hints. Uh, you know, somebody could be talking about a man that, I don't know, did some crazy shit, bit somebody's neck off. I don't know. But, uh, you know, they can do things, you know, Easter eggs that we, uh, the fans, will catch and that we'll love. Um, so hopefully we can see that. And then I guess the third role will be the outside trying to get in. So... A lot to explore there. I'm looking forward to World Beyond Season 2. It started, The first one was a little slow in the beginning, picked up in the end, and, I, and it's going to be continuing right from there. So hopefully it only keeps going up. It's the final season, so they better just go all out with it. Um, and I'm kind of curious where they'll land after the show ends, because obviously I don't think it'll be the end of their story. I think they'll appear somewhere else in the universe. Um, and that's probably going to be the movies, given the show's ending and fears the timeline is way behind, so that's not gonna happen. Um, the only way I can see them popping up on the main show is if like, it's in the final few episodes because they haven't filmed yet, and they're and that third part of the part C of season 11 has to do with CRM stuff because that's gonna be really the ending and venturing off um, these characters onto their next journey. So we already have Michonne Lee for whatever they're gonna do with our character. We got the Daryl and Carol spinoff, wherever they go, whatever cast goes with them. We got the anthology series, which I'm sure will touch base with some of the characters we know and love, past, present, and like I said, future. So we can see World Beyond go there. Um, we Daryl and Carol show, I, I heard, is a limited series. So they could, they're could they going to be on the road, so they could run into the World Beyond characters there. And that's where Daryl gets his Rick stuff. Because I imagine that's what Daryl's going to want to go do, search the world for Rick. That's why I think if Judith... If Judith were to tell Daryl at the end of the series about Rick and about what Michonne is doing, I think that's where Daryl would go and I think Carol would want to go with him and I think what that might be what that series is about. I'm hoping, here's hoping, and it would be awesome if they ran into some World Beyond characters who got more pieces of the puzzle and we can connect some shit. That's, that would be epic. 
But um, anyway, we'll see what they do. Um, they ain't going to make it predictable. So um, be sure to let me know what you guys think, what your theories are. Um, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys October 3rd for World Beyond and October 17th for Fear the Walking Dead.